As promised, I have something special for November. I will be sharing some recipes to add to your Thanksgiving meal. In today's video, I am sharing the recipe to my absolute favorite dessert, pineapple strawberry cheesecake. This cheesecake recipe, as well as my simplified cheesecake recipe, tastes way better than Cheesecake Factories. For real though. In fact, when I go to Cheesecake Factory, I go for the meals and not necessarily the cheesecake. Why? Because I like my cheesecake better and it's simple to make. Okay, here goes the recipe. First, cut up an average size package of fresh strawberries in a bowl and put about maybe about a quarter cup of sugar in a bowl and mix it, mix it, and then place that in a fridge. Next, squeeze a lemon so you can get that lemon juice, that fresh lemon juice, into a bowl or some type of container and put the lemon juice evenly on the graham cracker crust. Do not throw the top away from the graham cracker crust. You're going to need that for later. Now you're going to set the lemonized graham cracker crust. Lemonized? Is that a word? Hmm. I mean, if Beyonce can have Bootylicious, why can't I have Lemonize in the dictionary? I'm just saying, right? Now you're gonna set the oven on 320 degrees. Now while the oven is heating up, you mix the cream cheese and about three quarters cup of sugar. Then you add three eggs. How many three eggs? But beat one egg at a time. And you're gonna add one half teaspoon of vanilla and mix that in as well. Now add about one half cup of pineapple juice and mix it real good. Mix it, mix it real good. Then you pour all of that onto the graham cracker crust. Mm, mm, mm. Then you place that in the oven and bake it for one hour. Now once the cheesecake is done, it's gonna look fluffy like this. It's gonna look very, very fluffy. And you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with this thing? It is okay, that's normal. But as you see from the time lapse here, it will flatten as it cools down, okay? So don't panic. Now once the cheesecake is cooled down, put the top we saved earlier upside down over the cheesecake and look at there, we got a top. Just flap those foil flaps over the top for security to keep the top in place. Now we're gonna put the cheesecake either in the freezer for three hours or in the fridge overnight. Now if you like me, you want that cheesecake right away, so put it in the freezer, okay? Now you get yourself a slice and then put some whipped cream over there. I'm sorry, put some strawberries on there first, then the whipped cream. And as you can see here, I like to drown mine. Mm -hmm. And then yum yum and a tum tum, the best cheesecake ever. Yes, baby, this the one. Now, tell me, tell me, tell me how yours turned out if you try this recipe and put your comments below in the comment section. I am so, so anxious or excited to hear how yours turned out. And until next time, you guys be blessed and remember to not only look beautiful, but what? Be beautiful. Be blessed.